Hi, I'm Kim Wilson. And I'm Natasha Marchevka. And this is Speechless. Speechless. Welcome to our behind the scenes look at voiceover, where we tell stories, uh, give resources and share our unsolicited opinions. All right. And I am going to put my glasses on Me now because I can't see. <laughs> we can't see, but we want to look purdy without our glasses. Right. I can. Hi, 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 hi. It's so hi. good to see you. You too. What are we talking about today? Bring We're it. We're doing Why Aren't I Booking, a.k.a. Do I suck? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. And or we're maybe gonna help you out with it. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're going to start with sharing our drinks. I have something oh, yeah. called pog juice. It's oh, actually a thing called pog juice. That Passion fruit, orange, beautiful. and guava. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And I am having a sour gin or gin sour. I can't, I don't know which way. I was or trying to be cool, sip, so whichever remember. way. Yeah. Okay. It looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And it's strong. And we, so here's the thing about voiceover. Mm. You need to be good at some stuff to be, you know, to get work, to book work, to be successful, to make money. So title being, why aren't I booking? We're going to tell you why. Mm hmm if that's your issue and you find your own adventure here and figure out it why is. you're not booking. Because there's some really many factors there's many on this. Factors. Yeah. Uh, whether you're a beginner or whether um, you've been at it for a while, um, you can easily find yourself into this like slump or plateau where all of a sudden you're not booking like you used to. So forever. <laughs> well, or ever. ever. Especially right. for beginners, I think. Sure. Um, I'm gonna just going to name... Yeah, go. The four things to me that are the main things, and then let's dig deeper. Okay. So for me, the main things are the craft you have to be good at, mm -hmm. meaning the acting part, mm -hmm. the tech, super important, yeah. the marketing. If you're not marketing, you're not I booking. Know. I know. And the so hustle. Hard. The hustle is like sweat equity. It's the work that yeah. you put in. You're so wait, can I just say that I hate that term? the hustle. I oh, you got to hustle. You got to hustle. No, it's like so uh, like trendy right now. All right. No. I digress. Go. Right. So Side Kim, when, uh, when should you quit your day job? Mm. You're in voice, you want to, you're in voiceover and well, you're striving to be in voiceover and make money from voiceover. When's a good time to let go of your day job? So you and I disagree on this. I think it depends for everybody. Um, it depends what you, if I think if you can support yourself financially, it is time to let go of your day job and do this full time. How do Though, we disagree? Oh, we don't disagree on this. Well, I think the difference is how much money do you think you need uh, to, to survive? To, to survive, and some people might say this, and some people might say this, and everyone's also in a different situation with family and how much they need to make. That's right. right? So that's where we disagree. So I think. It <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Continue. I just think it it depends. Okay. There's many factors at play. So why don't you um, start with the first one? Okay. Number one to me, I think is your technical skill and your studio sound might not be good enough. Is your mic technique hindering your performance? Is your okay. room? Wait, what is mic technique? When you say mic technique, was your mic technique? Like what's a mic technique? I mean, I know what it is, but I want you to explain it. Are I know you getting what it a is. Clean, are you getting a clean sound? Or are you sound like, <laughs> I'm like, <"No." laughs> or do you sound like this? So anyway, when you may not be as good as you think you are, you have to find that clean, balanced, good sound. And I, we will give a tip soon on how to find out if your mic technique sucks. Okay. Right. Also, is your room too echoey? Do you sound like you're in a tin can or a or bathroom or bathroom? <laughs> if you are in one, it might sound like that. And can you tell, can you tell that it's not up to snuff? That's important. 
Right. You mean are you experienced enough to recognize the faulty Difference. sound in your yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Is the noise floor too loud? The noise right. floor. Explain what is noise floor. Yeah. The sound around you, is it quiet enough? So when you um have the levels of when it's totally you're not saying anything, it's quiet. Is it kind of going? <laughs> or is it like this. I think minus 50 is around where you want it, right? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, negative 60 dB is like perfect. Oh, yeah, it's impossible. Mm. Just saying. Yeah, it is. And even, in these, it. even in these, even in these booths, it's impossible. It's like between like negative 60 and like 50. Yeah, that's where it like fluctuates. Good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> Anyone who says there are minus 60, I, I roll my eyes. Sorry, friends. <laughs> I do. Come on. I know. Really? Mm -hmm. Wait, I want to give them an idea of how to fix the technical studio sound. Oh, okay. I'll go back to that. No, right, you're bringing it home, homevoiceoverstudio.com. I always recommend when, if I'm doing an audition audit and I tell you it's not sounding so good, which I do occasionally, um, <laughs> I always recommend people go to Dan Leonard, but his web, his website for this is homevoiceoverstudio.com. The homepage yeah. has a specimen collection. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> $25, you submit your specimen and he'll let you know what's wrong with it. Like he can tell you just by listening. And, and how wrong. to fix it. And how to fix it. I'm generally wrong. Like I'll send people to him and I'll be like, it's no, I'm just guessing. He's like, no, actually it wasn't. <laughs> It's this good, Dan. Good because Yay, I don't know Dan what, Leonard. No, it didn't sound good. Okay, so so for me, yeah. So I think um, you might. I think another factor is you might not be as good as you think you are. Uh -huh. Sorry, uh -huh. Uh -huh. because I think like <laughs> everyone kind of needs a coach to tell them where they stand in the mix. That's oh, and a good a good coach. Is? Honest, yeah. honest, honest, mm -hmm. will tell you the truth on, on where you stand on all that. Yeah. Um, and I think also like to help you out is like, like uh, audition and then save those auditions and then send them to your coach and, and yeah. have them listen to it and give you feedback. Oh, this is probably why it didn't book or, Hey, you were right up there in the mix. I hear nothing wrong with that. That'll give you kind of good feedback to maybe have someone else objective hear what you're not hearing. Um, yeah. I think audition audits are a really, really good idea. Yeah. It's something that um, I offer and I'm, I see it growing in our future, Kim, for you yeah. and I, um, <laughs> yeah. anyone want feedback? We're here to give it to you. Love giving feedback. Um, but also I love VO work weekly workout. I always share it, but mm -hmm. one of the reasons I love via weekly workout.com is is that how it's, can you look it up and see if it's via weekly workout.com? Please, Kim. Yes. <laughs> um, because then you can hear what other people are submitting and you can hear, there's some very, very good ones, a lot of good ones and some not so good ones. So you can hear what other people are submitting, even on the same script. And it really gives you a sense of where you stand, doesn't it? It does. It does. And then you get received feedback as well. So you can look at everyone's Ellis's feedback to see if it would they you know the coach thought it was great or good or needed an improvement so it is vo week vo weekly workout.com perfect it's really good perfect. okay let's so, tell them why else they might not be booking i think that the style of read you're delivering can be outdated like maybe you're booking for a long time on um, a certain read you do and all of a sudden it falls out of favor because trends in VO shift, the style, um, the delivery, that all shifts. It's constantly shifting. And so maybe your money voice isn't what's in right now. So right. again, a good coach is going to tell you what's in, what's booking, and what's not. Right. What else? You may have to change your expectations. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So there was a time on um, online casting sites back in the day, 15 years ago. In the days when, of yore. In the days of yore. Yeah. Um, when you could book really easily. But talent on those sites is very, very high now. I mean, it kind of was before, but now it really is. 
there's also a lot of amateur people on there still, but generally right. I'm hoping the sites vet their talent. I know not all of them do that. Um, right. And also the, the competition is stiff. In other words, the competition yeah. is stiff. You're no longer just, you might've been a star 15 years ago, but that's not the way it's going to go today. You're competing with people who are in LA nas- and New York booking mm-hmm, nationally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. National ranked mm-hmm. talent. So, yeah. Yeah. and you, you also need to be more judicious about which jobs you audition for. Yeah. Uh, so in the past, you could just audition for everything and see what you get. You can't do that now. You need to be a little more selective. Um, also, another reason why you might not be booking is where you're submitting. If you're submitting to agents only, you're up against only excellent talent and a lot of them. Um, a lot maybe, of excellent talent. Yeah. A lot of excellent talent. And you might not be fast enough. Um, you mean for like online casting, like you're fast anything. enough in delivery? Oh. Agents. Even clients request uh, rosters, request auditions, client audis- uh, request auditions from various talent. If someone's faster than you, you lost the job. It's mm. tough. And then if you're submitting to it's different tough. online casting sites and, and not to agents, um, it really all depends on the sites. But again, speed is an issue. There's one more thing that I want to say, and that is that the first three seconds of your audition count the most. So why aren't you booking? Maybe you're really good in the middle of the audition, but you sucked in the first, not sucked, but it wasn't strong. It wasn't different. It wasn't unique in the first three seconds. Right. It didn't capture their attention, right? Mm -hmm. Super important. So Kim, what do people do if any of these things are a factor? We've helped you along the way a little bit with home voiceoverstudio.com with via weekly workout go to a couch. I think also you have to widen your, your nets. I think you can't put all your egg again. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't be only on online casting. Don't only book for your agent. Widen those nets. Which also means direct marketing and networking. Mm. Yeah. Don't only rely on one place to find your work. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is a slog. This is difficult and you have to have (sighs) hustle. But um, how do you stay motivated? How do you stay motivated oh, that's a good to question. move forward when that's you're not a whole looking? show? I think that's a whole show. But okay. mm-hmm. quickly, you tell me how to say. <laughs> quickly, you give the answer. How about checking in with your VO peers on a regular basis? How that about helps. going to workshops? Okay. Workshops and webinars and classes to get a sense of where you stand. Yep. Keep coaching and interacting with educational opportunities. So Mm -hmm. maybe um, a class, but then maybe a one night thing, maybe ongoing one-on-one or group classes and stay up to, yeah. And stay up to date with listening to what's, what's currently on the air. Now listen to narrations and documentaries and current commercials. Um, Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to keep you motivated, but that will teach you. That, that'll <laughs> keep it. Do. That'll ki- thank you for that, Natasha. Okay. That'll. <laughs> so if you have questions or comments and you're watching on YouTube <gasps> below, if you're watching on IGTV, leave the comments, please. We're, we always answer. We do. And you can also email us at speechlessvo at gmail.com. And we do answer. We it do. may take a couple of days, but we absolutely will answer you. If you have any ideas as well for um, resources, please oh, click to subscribe. Mm-hmm. And last and but not least, it. let's be awesome now. We've got shit to do. Bye.